All right. Welcome back to Shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. How y'all doing today? So it's uh, Wednesday. And if it's Wednesday, that means it's Williams Wednesday. Look right there. Williams, see? Williams, that's what it says. Thanks, Jamie, still, for the mug. Ain't seen you in a while, brother. Hope you're doing all right. <sighs> coffee tastes great out of a Williams mug. I tell you, that's just how it is right there. And once again, the coffee is brought to you by Rev. And if I hold it over here where the actual camera is, you can see that it's Rev, no surrender. That's today's coffee again. So, uh, using vintage Williams today, because I think I used the uh, modern stuff the other day. So that means we've got the old Foley Scuttle out here. And I get questions about these things every once in a while. And uh, people make fun of my roses and all on my old Foley. You know, rose is one of my favorite scents, though, and it was one of my mom's favorite flowers. She raised roses, had them all over the place all the time. Love getting roses, so maybe that's why I've got my love of roses. But anyway, whatever. It's got the little gold-looking accents on it and everything. And But anyhow, so... The first thing, mystery that I want to dispel or myth that I want to dispel about these things is if you're thinking that uh, a scuttle like this is going to warm your soap in any way whatsoever at all, well, you know, horse feathers it does not work that way. I'm going to adjust that camera just a touch there. It doesn't work that way. This is not a scuttle to warm anything. It's got warm water in the bottom. And you're putting your brush down in there and it soaks the brush. Gives you water for your shave. You can wet your brush, do your lather and everything like that without messing up your uh, your water bowl handstand here. Because I, my thinking is, it's before there was a lot of running water. And uh, that's what the gentleman used with his shave. Not saying I'm a gentleman, but uh, you know, what they say. So anyway, so we're going to use some uh, Skin Bracer Original today because I like it and I'll have a cigar on the way to work and I think a cigar goes very well with a Skin Bracer. So it is October now, already. Already October. Amazing. So October can also turn into Ocetober. <laughs> Open comb. That's, that's not an original thing. I think they do that at the 30-day uh, the crew over at TSD. But anyway... Uh, so I'm going to start out, I'm going to use the, the good old Micromatic here. Definitely an open comb. And, uh, you know, Jim had a twist to open before Gillette did. Or I think before anybody else did. There may have been some other, I don't know. Someone, uh, someone correct me on that if I'm wrong. But I think they were pretty much the first with the twisty open here with the uh, Micromatic. So I found a uh, Powell Super Blade. And that's what we're going to use today. And loading the old, uh, loading the old uh, OC here is pretty dirty easy. All right, so without getting cut, you take your old blade and you take your old razor and you put your old blade in your old razor against your old stops. Tighten the head down and it comes down and slides actually forward and holds everything in place very, very nicely. That's how that works. So anyway, so I don't actually have an old wash stand, wash basin stand, whatever it would be called. I just put hot water in the sink. Yeah, you know, that's my wash basin stand. These days we've got it a lot easier than in the past, and I've got it a lot easier here, I'm sure, than a lot of people around the world. And I realize that and appreciate it. Try to anyway. Excuse me a second. We got to get the old spectacles here clean. Hopefully we can get back to wearing contacts before too long if we're ever getting around to making a doctor's appointment and get them. And then we'll be back in business. So anyway, so the brush today is the old crazy bristled. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Smog 1406 I think it is. This one's starting to show its age. It's getting some chips on the paint and stuff. I imagine that's from where you know you dropped the Drop the brush in a bowl of water and let it sit and float around in hot water. I don't know. Anyway, it's been a really good brush for a long time, so I'm not complaining. A little chip paint is all right. So we're just working the brush on the top of the cake here. And then if we need a little more water, we'll dip in and get a little more water. And it'll build us a really nice lather, because this is vintage Williams. I think the new stuff does just fine, but a lot of people will fight me on that one. 
It's not the same stuff. It's not that little bird. It dissipates. Sounds like a festival of chihuahuas. You know what I'm saying? Yep, 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 yep. All right. And while we're on the subject of annoying things, so I had this big package I was waiting on, or a really nice package, I should say. I don't know about big. It had a derby stick in it, and I haven't tried derby yet, and there was a bunch of stuff in there, and there were some razors. It was coming from outside the U.S. There were some razors in there that I hadn't tried before, and a couple of extras to spread around, and a whole bunch of fun stuff. It got stolen. He does some stuff. I, uh, if we need a little more water with a shave, we'll go right to the old scuttle and dip the old brush tips in just like we would in the, in the sink. Um, uh, well, apparently it was delivered last Friday. And to be honest with you, since it was coming out of the U.S., I don't particularly just keep a lot of eyeball on the tracking. But, uh, I worked Friday. It said it was delivered at uh, 1755, and I got home about 1845. So it was less than an hour from when it was delivered. And the person that sent it sent me a text on, I think, Saturday while I was working. He said, hey, your package out there. What do you think? Yada, yada, yada. And I'm sitting there thinking, I ain't seen nothing. So I said, well, we'll wait a day. So sometimes, I don't know about where you're from, but sometimes down here, the three-legged alligator says he's delivered something and is really not there yet. <sighs> Apparently that's not what happened. I don't know. I've been there five and a half years. I get a lot of packages. Send a lot of stuff, trade a lot of stuff, buy a little stuff, yada, 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 things in and out. Never had any problems. There's people get packages delivered when they're gone and they sit out in front of their apartment for three or four days sometimes I've seen regularly now this isn't just every once in a while now I got a package stolen I tell you what it burns me up for somebody now we got to been off the last couple of days so this is a couple of days of growth here the uh, Micromatic is very efficient when I first started shaving this was actually the razor not this particular razor because I wasn't smart enough to keep that particular razor but anyway the, the uh, micromatic here is what got me into the forums and got me into shaving. I found one at my great aunt's house when we were cleaning it out after she passed away. Had no clue what this thing was. Yeah, I guess I knew it was a razor, but I'm saying I didn't know anything about them. And uh, I had been using some other two-sided thingies off and on since I had started shaving. So I knew you know, safety razor, but I didn't know anything about this thing. Got online, found forum, and that's what got me started, and specifically, it's what pointed me towards the single edge world, was one of these. They're very efficient. Now, when I started shaving, this thing was a monster. And you can go back and look at past posts of mine, and you'll see where I'm talking about that, man, this thing can just eat you alive. I still think that's true, but the truth of the matter is I learned along the way about technique. And with proper technique, man, this thing's just like running anything around. It's like running the mildest of them around. It does a really good job. And with it being an open comb, open comb does not automatically mean monster. But... Razor to razor, blade to blade. We already know that. But when you have a whole lot of beard and you're doing a whole lot of work on it, an open comb is nice. It really is. Now, I could do this same shave with whatever razor. I could do the same shave with a contour. But I like an aggressive feeling razor. And the Micromatic is definitely an aggressive feeling razor. So we took that couple of days of growth that we had to start with, even though I didn't really show it off, and we done knocked it off and went past there. Like I said, this stuff is great. All right, so we'll go back and relather with the old wheels here. So yeah, I really hate when people steal my stuff. I have 
over the years had a couple packages stolen from where I used to live. But I used to live in a little town, and it wasn't surprising. I finally had to tell the post office, hey, quit delivering crap to my door because people are running off with it. I'll come pick it up. But, uh, you know, and what I'm reaching down is I'm going back into the scuttle and grabbing a little extra water here for the Williams. And when you're face laddering, you can adjust the ladder just like you do when you're using your soup bowl. You know, when any bowl laddering is, you know, waste of a good soup bowl. So you can adjust your ladder just as well as you can in anything. So there we go. We wanted to get our lather adjusted out a little bit and there we got it. So the good thing to happen over the last couple of days is that uh, got the uh, brake line fixed on my expedition so it's back on the road. Y'all may remember uh, one of the fillers I work with I got started we gave him a uh, VDH starter kit and a 1912, which he still uses, getting great shaves out of. He's one of my, my work buddies. He's also a car mechanic, and he was nice enough for the price of a meal. Actually, it up being a couple of meals, but anyway, uh, he was nice enough to come over and put my brake line on. And I could put the brake line on pretty easy. That's just a mechanical thing, but uh, getting the brakes brakes bled would have been a little a little twinky with uh, one person. So he was nice enough to come over. We went over to Izzo's Illegal Burrito, which was good. And then uh, I actually had some spaghetti sauce I'd made the other day, so I cooked spaghetti that night. I don't cook good. Maybe, but it's, uh, you know, keep you going. So anyway, that was a good thing. And then we uh, cleaned up some electrical stuff, or he cleaned up some electrical stuff for me. The battery connectors and the wires were all crazy on that thing. Have been ever since I got it. Wasn't something I did to it, but I just never had fixed it. And we were at Walmart. It's not like that thing always does this in the Walmart parking lot too. I mean, you go and you hit the key and all you get is a click. Yep, yeah, got to get out and wiggle the terminals around and sometimes you got to pull them off and clean them real quick with the little cleaner brush and get them back on and as a car mechanic he didn't like that too much. So uh, anyway, we got all that fixed. So that was nice. The one I call my ghost. Old white Expedition Eddie Bauer. So look at there, since we've been yamping, that's what we got. I also loaned out... Uh, he had seen the videos with the Tensor 3D. So I loaned that out to him. He's giving it a try out and we'll get back with what he thought about it. I think he's gonna love it. That is just an exceptional, exceptional razor. Let's get a little witch hazel going on for a little touch up pass here. We could probably leave it the way it is and be just as good, but I like doing a little touch up pass. Like we always do, we're going to come down. Usually, you know, I, people have said it. I agree with you. Touch up pass always ends up just being another round. And sometimes when I get to a little place, and I'll sometimes run over it more than once for some reason. I don't understand why. It's not like it really needs it. Though your touch up pass ends up being five or six passes. Okay. Not a problem with me. So there we go. That's our shave. That's Williams Wednesday for the first Wednesday of October. There we go. So also, uh, getting ready for squirrel season. I am. Hey, my alarm's going off. It's time for me to wake up. Let's dismiss that. And uh, yeah, I popped awake early today, so I said, well, you know, I'll go ahead and get up, have a cup of coffee, and get moving. But anyway, it's uh, squirrel season coming up, and I'm uh, pretty much a dedicated squirrel hunter. I love it. I'd rather hunt squirrel than deer, although I like to eat deer. They're nice and big, and I like deer hunting. But if I have my choice, I'd go squirrel hunting a lot of times. But uh, anyway, 
So I uh, played around with some of my 22s and swapped a scope or two around. Now I got to get out to the range and check all my scopes and getting ready for squirrel season. It's that time of year again. And if you're not a hunter, you might not understand that. But if you are a hunter, you will understand that this time of year is a good, good time of year. All right, well, I'm going to get all this stuff cleaned up. Dry my blade off because it's still got a bunch of life left in it. That probably wasn't but the second shave on that particular blade. I've got one up here that's got three or four shaves on it. We'll get us a little bit of the old man smell going on. Fuzzy smells like an old man according to, uh, you know, ordinary shaver. He ought to know what an old man smells like, just saying. But the uh, skin bracer here is definitely a classic old man smell. Yeah. And once I mix it with a little cigar on the way to work, it's really going to be an old man smell. So there we go. That's my morning. Hope your morning's going just as good. I'm going to finish up my coffee and get ready for work and everything. Got a few things going on this morning. Get everything cleaned up. Y'all have a great day. Ah, wherever you are, whoever you are, whatever you're doing... You know, you, look at that. Ain't that nice? Boy, I tell you what, that is one fine feeling shave this morning, boys and girls. I'm telling you, I feel kind of sorry for you if you ain't got a shave like that going this morning. Really, starting out on Wednesday morning, not going to be as warm and humid out there as it has been. Life is good, my friends. All right, wherever you are, whoever you are, whatever you're doing, happy shaves to you.